hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial today's video tutorial is about the implementation of a three-way switch actually one of my students from Peshawar tax law and Islamabad actually asked me that sir how we can control a single load from three different locations and also about four to five days back uh, an electrician uh, who's working in Dubai actually called me that uh, my owner is asking me to control 10 lights from three different locations ground floor first floor and second floor so how to do this in plc let's start programming win for later click on new again select the type of plc you're using you can select from the list and click OK. OK. Now, before we start the programming, we start building that project. So first, let's understand the these two contacts, the open and close. This is actually the normally open contact, and this one is uh, actually the normally closed contact. And how it works? Let's first see that. OK. Now, <clears throat> click on this contact. Click over here, and the input is x1 enter and output y0 now this time we will be using the normally closed contact b and write x2 output y1 In simple words we can say that this contact means that go look for one go we'll see if any anyone has pressed the switch press the button or see if there is something in front of the sensor while this is closed contact and normally closed position so even if there is no input still it will work so let's see it simulation run PLC so you can see I didn't turn on this, but as it's a normally closed, so the output is high. So it means that go look for zero. If there is if there is zero, if there is no input, turn on the output load. And it means that go look for one. If there is one, then turn on the load. And if there is no switch is pressed, then keep it off. So if I press it on, like if it's turn on the switch, it means that there is one now the output is high so if i off output load is off but if i turn on this the output load is off why because this contact means that go look for zero if there is no input then it will work but if if there is any input available then it will it won't work because it's an orbitally close contact so if i off it will work so now let's start programming of that uh, project i will be using these two contacts these two the normally open and normally close stop new no now press a on the keyboard and write x0 press b on the keyboard and write X1, X2, press on the keyboard and write Y0. Now click on the comment, click on the element comment. Now X0 is a switch which is uh, on the ground floor. So ground floor, X1 is on the first floor. And X2 is on second floor. And Y0 is the, is, is the output with which the lights are connected. So these are lights. Well, it can be a motor, it can be anything. So we are considering lights. And OK. And X0 
Let's see. Let's see. Let's Y0 is the output with which the lights are connected with the help of a relay. That relay can be turned on and off by using these switches. Okay, now how this actually works. So let's uh, watch this in action. Click on the PLC menu, click simulation, and run PLC. So as you can see, all these three switches are in off state and uh, nothing is happening the output light is off let's uh, for example i am the owner of that house and uh, right now i am on the ground floor right now i'm on the ground floor and i want to turn on these lights so what i will do i will just turn on now the lights are on now i move uh, now i go to the the first floor and now i am there and few hours few hours later i decide to turn off these lights so i won't go on to the ground floor i will turn off these lights directly from the first floor i will just simply turn on this switch and the the lights are turned off now if i go to the second floor and i'm there and i, I and i want to stay there for some more couple of hours and i want to and i decided to turn on these lights so I won't uh, need to come to the ground floor or to the first floor. I will just simply press turn on the switch and the lights are on. Well, if I am there, I can also turn off these lights even from the same floor. Now these are on. The lights are all the 10 lights are on. So if anyone, like if I am on the first floor, I can off. If I am on the second floor i can turn it on and if i'm on the ground floor i can off the lights so these lights can be controlled individually from any floor from any location so this is how to implement a three-way switch and uh, letter logic programming if you like my video Please subscribe to my channel, share my videos with your friends and thanks for watching.